The Dencha to Go controller for the Sega Dreamcast. Just look at this. It's just really awesome. Uh, I'm reading from a thing on my cell phone here. It's a train simulator. It was released in 2000 by Taito. And yeah, um, I am not sure if any other games work for this controller. I doubt it. Uh, I don't know. This, uh, this page doesn't have much information. It's just the controller and the, uh, the one game that works with it. I think for that purpose, I, I would not get this if you're not a fan of train simulator games, but I, I don't know anybody that doesn't like trains. You know? So, yeah, uh, Dencha to go. Let's check out the controller. We'll be checking out the game because it's the only game that works with the controller. So, yeah, let's check out the Dencha to go controller. All right, so we are running out of precious sunlight, and I got to show off this controller in action. So, I'm going to record this first. And this game did not come. Uh, th this game did not come packaged with this, so you have to get the game and the controller separate. And, yeah, thankfully I have a copy of uh, Dencha to Go 2. It's a train simulator, so... Do you want to be a conductor? I do. Let's get this out. Um, oh, never put your controllers in while the system is on because you can pop a controller port so keep that in mind everybody don't pop your controller ports because it's an easy fix but it could frustrate a lot of people and people might throw away their dreamcasts when they have perfectly good dreamcast they just uh pop the controller port that you just have to twist a diode it's a very simple fix like uh the dreamcast is very wonderful when it comes to you know being you know, fixable. These little grippies, they work pretty good. Um, we might have already covered this, but this little piece right here is for a stopwatch. And there's a specific stopwatch you could use, but uh, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> or a certain type, I don't know. But uh, was there an official one that was released? I don't know. Uh, let me pause this real quick. Okay, yeah. I had to take these little these little uh, controller port dust covers out of my second controller port, and it was just really hard to get out, and it was really making me frustrated. And I don't really see a need in a lot of the dust covers. <clears throat> Let's turn the volume up. You can see me with the controller. You might need a better view of the controller. C brings you back, you select with B. B is like this main button right here. The more stops, the more... Uh, the more trains, the more stops you, you are on. So I'm just hit, I'm selecting whatever's default. You gotta start in that position. It's telling you start off in that position. I played this a little bit. I'm not gonna tell you whether or not I like this game. Trying to stay in frame so you can see how to play it. I forgot how to start. You're supposed to stay within 35, so you got the little, um, timer right there
Jake was telling me to go 35. Let me pause the game. I forgot where the stops are. I forgot where the stops are. I don't think that's good. Taito's great. I think they came out with Toki. Remember Toki on NES and Toki Ape Spit on Genesis? I think Taito did uh, Bubble Bobble. You know, Taito. Gotta be like in full position to start off and then slow down because they tell you to slow down. The graphics are PS1 graphics. They don't they're nothing special, but uh, they're effective enough to kind of lose yourself in there. I like to wave at the people. Oh, I'm not <laughs> that was the stop. Oh, that was the stop. I'm wrecking my controller here. Yeah, I just kept going. Yep, yep, yep. You didn't do good enough. Push the button. I like how you can just honk. It's just the honk and horn simulator. Alright, I'm in the off position. It tells me I can go, so that means I gotta get out of here. I don't know how fast I'm supposed to be going. Um, I got to a point where I was actually doing okay, where I was just playing this game over and over again. So if you want to buy an import game, get this in the controller. I think it's fun. This is the crappiest way to stop. I probably need to go up a little bit. Just a little, because of the, because of the train bed or whatever. You know what I mean? You gotta stop. Yeah, it's telling me to stop. Yeah, this has gotta be it. No? You gotta be kidding me. Over. It's very nuanced. You, you gotta know exactly where to stop. You gotta know where the game wants you to stop. Um, I believe this is the only game that you can play the controller with. If I'm wrong, correct me. So, yeah, this is Dencha to Go. I might be mispronouncing it. But, um... Oh, it's, uh... Okay, yeah, I, I really like the controller. This is so cool. I kind of, like, I don't know how you would have to put a stopwatch in there. I think that you'd have to get a grasp 
on what this game wants you to do and you know in order for you to feel confident enough to want to play this there are dense densha to go games on the ps1 and they have these type of controllers so i think if you're a ps1 fan which who isn't but if you have a ps1 uh, I, I would check out Densha to go and get a controller and check that out, you know. I mean, hey, I think the PS1 was a great system, and I think the PS2 is just kind of a glorified DVD player. I think the, the games are kind of muddy on the PS2, because Dreamcast games look better, but gameplay-wise, no. Um, yeah, the, the PS2 is a very solid system for the game library. It's got really good games. The, the GameCube is really awesome for their exclusives and just uh it's a fun console and uh you know xbox original is just groundbreaking but they just kind of stole from other companies and just kind of hijacked you know just bought other companies and just you know microsoft you know but uh this is a fun little peripheral it's just great it's a very leisurely casual type game this is a very laid back looking game it's just kind of just great it's great. I think that the uh, controller is really cool. I, I'll just... I've been rating everything real high or real low or kind of meh. And uh, I think that this game... Uh, the, the game itself, uh, I need to do a separate review, I guess. But, <laughs> you know, hey. Um, the controller itself is cool. I, I'll give the controller a 10 because look at this man it's really awesome it's like when it comes to weird looking peripherals and stuff that really stands out hey man look it's got a little trigger function like it, it doesn't take much to do that so you can uh, pretty much stop on a dime if you need to um since i have this in i kind of want to try a few more rounds you know it's just a good game i, I like dench to go um yeah, we need to go over this game sometime, just kind of just show up, so I can easily do that, but right on, my, maybe not today. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's cool. I recommend the controller. It's a cool controller. Thanks for watching, guys.